What's good, y'all? I'm at the best park in America, Frick Park. It's not the most luscious right now. I mean, look behind me. It doesn't look very luscious, does it? No. But still the best park in America. Anyways, guys, today I got up and ran in the morning. Yes, I ran in the morning. Usually, I prefer to run later in the evening. I feel like my runs are better. I feel like I'm faster in the evening. And uh, I prefer that. But today I got it right in the morning. I can't even lie, I was motivated. And I was motiva motivated by an outside source. I'm a big believer in being motivated internally. You having that desire, that passion, that fire to do whatever you want to do in that day. And I can't even lie, I watched a David Goggins video and he is a pretty motivating guy. Now, I guess you could say he's worked himself into the point to where he is. Like, people, a, a lot of people, they don't just, you know, uh, find themselves in that kind of situation. And he's busted his ass. What is he, like a Navy SEAL and, uh, or a Marine or whatever? Did a bunch of crazy shit. He ran marathons. And what does he hold, like, the most pull-ups in an hour or something? You know, just crazy stuff like that, right? Um, but this guy, he lives a life that currently that a lot of people don't live. And what I mean by that is, is this. So he was giving his morning routine in like in a, in a podcast and he said that he gets up and he says he does the, the first thing or the, the thing he hates the most, he does. So he gets up and he runs in the morning. I guess he hates running supposedly, but he runs every day. And he says that he says that he runs minimum 12 miles a day. And I guess sometimes that could take an hour and a half, two hours. So he says he does that. And then he comes back, heats a little bit, and then he goes and works out. How many people do you know in your, in your personal life who get up in the morning, have that time to run two hours, eats, come back, chill for a little, eat something, and then go work out for like 45 minutes to an hour, and then come home? Now, I think we could look at everyone's situation and be like, okay, well, if you're going to bed at eight, eight o'clock and getting up at four and you're just running, you just leave your house and run and come home and you, and you have a workout place at your gym, it's pretty doable. But how many people do you know have that or do that or live a life where, you know, they don't have kids or they're not working two jobs and they have all this stuff going on. They can just do that. I don't know any. Um, it's, it's a lot of factors that go into uh, living a life like that. So he can do something like that. Um, and I think he says that he like stretches and does, and he meditates at night and he's in bed, he's in bed early every night. Like he doesn't stay up late. He doesn't party. He doesn't do that kind of stuff. Like this is what he does. This is his life. So, um, yeah, anyways, that motivated me to like to get up and, and run in the morning. And, uh, I guess, it, I guess it's good occasionally to hear that kind of stuff because I do believe that we lack motivation, a lot of us, for our goals. And I do think sometimes it is nice hearing other people live their life and uh, seeing what they're doing and having that motivate us. I, I do believe that. And I, I am pretty motivated by outside sources, even though personally in my own life, I'm very motivated myself. Like I had that internal drive. Like I, I got that. Um, and it's not like I wasn't going to run today if I, um, <laughs> if I didn't listen to that video, but cause I'm a, I, uh, I, I, uh, worked myself into running three times a week, right? Regardless of the weather, regardless of the week, no matter where I am, three times a week, that's it. And, uh, you know, I'll sit on my phone taking a shit for 20 minutes. I can't go outside and run for 10 minutes. Like I have, there's plenty of time in my day to do that. So, um, yeah, but anyways, I guess it's just weird. Uh, I did a little speech in college, um, before our baseball practices during the one year, we had to like bring in something that motivates us or just talk about something in our lives, whatever. And I brought that up. I brought up saying how 
you shouldn't just be motivated by a video or by someone online that you actually have to have that internal motivator. You have to have that internal person talking to you saying, you're going to fucking do this today. I don't care what you're doing. You're going to do this today. And, um, I, I, I still firmly believe that like you shouldn't be like, I don't like, I think if you need, you know, to be like listening to like dudes talking to your ear every single day, I think that's an issue. Like you're motivated. Go do it. Motivate yourself. But, um, hearing this video the other day, I was like, wow, you know, maybe I should try to just get up in the morning one day and just go run, you know? Um, he even said he doesn't do that. Does it. Sorry. <laughs> he even said that he does it fasted too. Like he doesn't even eat anything in the morning. He just gets, gets up and just runs. So I think that's pretty good. Uh, I mean, is it, I don't know, but that's what he does. So, um, uh, yeah, but, um, to finish what I was saying there, it's not like I'm just sitting here watching motivational videos, you know, I'm doing it on purpose, you know, I'm motivated, but I guess the point today is that it was nice and it was sort of, I don't want to say like a relief, but it just felt good to hear that coming from someone else. Um, so maybe me to you, this is your motivation to get up, you know, do something, get a bit early. Just today, just today, reach, reach your goals or work on reaching your goals, not reach your goals, re work on reaching your goals, move to reach those goals. So anyways, with that guys, stay up, be great. I always give it a hundred, baby.